very hot. What's up, Money Geeks, Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, I wanna show you guys step-by-step step how to set your hotkeys on the Weibo desktop app so you can use that for day trading. Um, the reason why you use hotkeys is because uh, sometimes when you're trading, um, stocks do gap really, really fast. So if you have to go in and set your, your you know, your stop loss and do your, your take profit, the market is gonna leave you behind. So you're not gonna be able to catch the train uh, before it leaves the station. So so hotkeys come in handy when you see a stock that's gapping really, really uh, quick, you can easily get in and out um, and make a trade and make some profit. So that's why I'm going to show you guys uh, the way I have it set up on my machine. Um, hopefully it's something that you can actually leverage to increase your chances of being able to make a profit or to get out of a, uh, a trade really, really quick. So let's jump right in. So basically once you log into your Weibo account on the desktop app, um, you want to go to, to get your hotkeys set up. Um, I, I just before we even actually jump into that, guys, I did a, a video showing how I have my um, you know, screen set up here. So if you haven't already, um, the video is right here on the channel. Definitely go check it out. So if you want to set hotkeys, um, you go down to where it says settings down here. Um, you click on that. And then um, on the setting tab, uh, what I want you to do is it says hotkeys. You can click on that. And then um, just if you go down to trade right here at the bottom here, trade, and you click on trade, uh, if you scroll down, it shows you samples of the hotkeys. And then where it says more trade hotkeys, you click on that, it brings up this window. This is where you definitely can go in and set um, your hotkeys. So right now, uh, you have the option of setting a buy at market, setting um, a buy on the bid, setting a buy on the ask, um, or you want um, a customized buy. So in this case, um, we can do a buy. Let's say we can set a buy um, on the market, and then it says quantity here, uh, 100. So uh, for the, for these for this example, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch this quantity to let's just say uh, we want to buy maybe five. And then the hot key in this case, um, and you can choose whatever you want, um, whichever, if you're flexible, depending if you're a, a, a right-handed person or a left-handed person and how you use your keyboard, you choose everyone works better for you and you apply that. So in this case, I can say um, control Z. So let me set that in there. So if we do control Z, um, so if I do control Z, it would buy five, um, uh, shares of a particular, of whatever company I want to trade at the market price. And that would be, so you can go ahead and do the same for all these other ones and set them uh, to your liking. But the buyer at the market and, um, and and sell at the market, those are the two that I'm gonna do today so, so you can see them. Um, those are the ones that I use a lot. So I could do this. So right now I have control Z to buy five shares. And then the next one I want you to see here is uh, the selling. So I want to sell at the market price. And so the sell at the market price, I have it set up so that um, when I when I use the, the, the button, it is mark is Alt X right here. When I hit Alt X, it's gonna sell. It's gonna liquidate the entire position. So I'm not selling just a piece of it. I'm selling everything. And how you change this to sell everything is right here. We say percentages. If you click on that, um, so you have the option to do either dollar amount, or you have the option to do quantity. Or if you click, if you click on it again. Otherwise, is a click on it again. You have the option to do percentages, and I set my percentage to 100. You can decide to put 50 or 25 or whichever percentage you want, but I want mine to 100 so that if I go in the trade, I want to be able to get out and sell everything and get out because the market moves so quick, and I don't want to have to waste time to do that. So, so right now, to buy five shares, we have Control Z, and to sell everything, we have Alt X. So and then after you've done this, again, you can go down and see um, all the other things that you can actually customize here, which is awesome. Um, you want to do cancel all. If you have some orders, you can set, um, you know, hotkey to cancel it um, really, really fast. So after you have everything set, you want to go down here and then you click um, done. And then uh, you click close up here and then that's it. You have the hotkeys ready to go. So now let's see how we can actually leverage those hotkeys. Um, so on my keyboard, again, I know you guys can see this, but on my keyboard, if I hit 
if I hit Control X, see what happens. See, it's telling me that I don't have um, I don't have anything right now, which is good. Um, if I hit if I hit um, Alt Z, see, it's already it loaded five shares of this company of this uh, BGFW, and all I have to do is just click Buy, and that's it. I'm in the stock. So let's say if you if you want another if you want another stock. Um, let's say Roku. I'm not gonna buy five shares of Roku. That's pretty expensive. Um, let's say this one here, TUP. If you want to buy five shares of TUP, is the same thing. All I have to do is hit, um, I hit Control Z. It brings up my my buy window, um, and and then at this point, I could just hit buy. So let's say assume that i saw this yes the stock was gapping up really really fast even though the volume is not there this is is going to be a really bad example because um it doesn't have, oops this would be a bad example because it doesn't have good volume um so if i assume that i saw this stock actually gapping really fast and i wanted to that's what i would do so um i wish this stock had volume so we can actually do a live one here let's see um kodak uh Kodak come on okay guys I don't know it's because I'm recording my screen it seems to be slower than usual which is not good for day trading so let's say for instance I see uh, Kodak gapping right now and I can say Control Z it would come up and then I would buy the stock and watch what happens so I'm in the stock already so right now the stock is I'm down um was that eight cents um, and then if I want to sell it real quick, I go control, I go control, um, odd X in my case, and then, and I just hit sell. So I hit sell all X and I'm out of it. So let's see what we did for that trade. So if we go to, uh, fill, oh, look at that thing gapping right now. It's just great. Um, so let's see if we went to a fill. So we bought we bought the stock at uh, so we bought the stock at um, what is this forty three eleven and sold it at forty three thirty eight so that's pretty good uh, forty three eleven and sold it at forty three um, thirty eight so that's 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 a winning trade so in this case this is how you would you would do it. Um, and so see now how see how it's pulling back but we had gone in and out of that trade just like that so we went in took a profit and, and got out before things went south so um, this is yeah this is basically how you can actually get stuff stuff taken care of so um, we can do another example here just so you guys see so if you you're watching right now uh, and I'm looking at this stock, and here's the here's the deal. I like to use the VWAP. This is way way above the VWAP, um, but if I see, uh, the only thing is I don't see a ton of volume. If there was volume, this thing would be gapping. And um, once I see that that's happening, and I'm like, hey, I want to buy five shares of of this, and I just go to Control Z, that comes up, and I jump in and I pick up five shares. Um, in this game, I'm not gonna buy. Um, maybe we, we can we can try another one. I might lose a few cents here, but that's I don't think that's the end of the wall. So now it's gapping. We say Control Z. It comes up. We say, Hey, uh, I'm gonna wait for I'm gonna wait for that pullback a little bit before I jump in. So if it does a pullback, day and then we can jump right in. So just give it a few seconds. I want that f one minute uh, pullback. Then we can get in and then hopefully watch it squeeze up a little bit. So I'll give it a second. Um, oh man, this is not a ton of volume. See, that's why it's not moving. Um, there was volume. This thing was just been ripping right now. Um, so no volume. That sucks. Um, but let's say, say we say buy again. Like I said, guys, I'm gonna lose some some change here, but that's no big deal. So now we're in the trade. We're actually uh, in the positive. I do Alt X up. We're already out in, in, in red. So I do Alt X. In my case, in your case, it might be different. And I do Alt X and I say sell. And that got me out of, out of there as soon as possible. That was a losing trade for, for sure because we didn't sell in time just because I wanted to show you guys. But that's how you get in and out. So the alternative way of approaching this again too is, is that you can, you can go the route of 
um, setting your your you know your your limit price here. So you say buy. You set your limit price. You put your quantity. Say let's say 100. You put your limit price, and then you do the stop loss, and then you do uh, the take profit. So you can set this up whichever way you want it. But this is this is for a position that you know it's not going to be gapping that fast. But for stocks that are gapping super fast, like when the market opens, things are moving so fast. You probably not gonna have time for this and you might be stuck with one just one one um one one company or one trade because you're like trying to manage this i do this when when things slow down in the market but when things are moving fast i have two or three uh, stocks that i want to trade i don't have that time so i just I, I use my hotkeys i go in and out in and out and um and make some profit uh doing that so let's see what we did in that last trade i know it wasn't, it wasn't a good trade um, so this is a KD. So let's see, let's move. So we went in at, see, we went in at 44.79, came out at 44.23. So that was actually a losing trade. And, and look at that massive pullback right there. So in this case, we are so glad we got out because if this thing pulled back while we were in there, um, I'd have lost the money. So there you go. And that's how I set my hotkeys again. Just a quick recap here. Uh, you want to go under settings here and then go on the hotkeys. Um, you go on the trade. You scroll down. Um, my computer is really slow. You scroll down, you go to more trade hotkeys and they open that and you can set it whichever way you want. I do market because I still want to go in and out. When you do the bit, um, it might you might not get filled at the bit. Uh, you do ask, you might not get filled at ask. So I do market because that's the price where it's actually at that time in the market. I want to catch that and, and just get that squeeze up to whichever point I want, get some profit and, and get out. So there we go. Then once you're done, you put, you click um, done and then cancel and that's it and you're out. So as you can see guys, setting your hotkeys is very important if you wanna go in and out of a trade really, really fast. And so if you're new to the channel guys, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. And also if you're just getting started and you're looking for a platform again, like I use Weibo, I'm gonna fill you with Weibo. So I'm gonna put a description, I'm gonna put the link in the description below for you to try Weibo. When you try it, you sign up, they give you two free stocks not one two first one is between two and 250 dollars and the second one is between 12 and 1400 dollars just for signing up to use the platform when you deposit uh 100 so question of the day what do you think about the different strategies for, for 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 day trading the ones where you actually have a stop loss that is sitting there and just waiting you can walk away from your computer or the one where you have to use your hot keys and you have to sit there and watch your computer and make sure that you're in and out of that trade completely so um, the other one is flexible in my opinion uh, hot keys is not so flexible because you have to sit there and stay and, and complete that trade before you walk away um, but, but if you can do stop loss you can set it walk away and come back if the trade is executed it, two things would have happened either it, it kicked your stop loss or it, it kicked up your your take profit so definitely let me know in the comment section also if you uh, want me to do more videos like this as the way I actually do day trading or even some samples of my day trade I can you know capture some videos and show you guys how I actually execute usually um, early in the morning is when the market opens and things are moving fast that will be a good time for me to record a video like that so I can show it to you guys so uh, again, don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button because YouTube tells me that 90% of you guys watching haven't already subscribed. And as always, stay motivated.